Alrighty, how's it going and welcome back to my Skyrim mod series where I'll be trying to find Creation Club alternatives and we'll be starting with Scholar's Refuge in Winterhold, a proper major tome by Ashley Clark who created the Sorceress Tower I reviewed a few months back. This mod is available on XB1 and PC only and a mod that could arguably be described as a free alternative to the Creation Club Mirwatch Tower. So the home is found in Winterhold under the College Bridge and in true Tiddly style we'll start with the pretty shots and music and then we'll cut to a quick walk around at the end. So see you then.
Okay, so let's take a little wander around this uh, lovely home. And right at the front entrance here, we got uh, uh, a few cabinets. Uh, we can just come in and drop your stuff off. Uh, weapon racks and display cabinets. And it's got uh, planters, each one with four soil spots. So there's, uh, what's that, 1220 just here. And we turn around and come into the library. And uh, I think we've got pretty much libraries or book space for every single book in the game. I know that something appeals to me, but, uh, uh, but it does appeal to uh, quite a few players who like to collect the book. Uh, that statue does absolutely nothing, purely there for aesthetics. And if we wander out, we come into the kitchen area it's got the usual kind of paraphernalia um, you know herbs and garlic and stuff like that it hasn't got an oven sadly um, which actually is disappointing it's got storage for all different food types shame about the oven but uh, there you go and over into the crafting area, we've got an enchanting table and an alchemist table, as you'd probably expect, with a huge amount of storage. So you can really divide up um, all your different types of ingredients and potions, etc. here. So absolutely loads, tons, tons here. And plenty of places to put, say, your enchanting uh, or alchemy gear and uh, soul gems and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and each table has got um, little places where you can store stuff. Pretty neat. And if we wander upstairs, we've got six uh, mannequins, uh, a few chests. Um, the mod actually, the, the mod author actually leaves you a few bits and bobs as well you can use. Uh, some of it's a little bit OP. Um, it's up to you whether you want to use it or not. Now, the one thing to remember about this mod, it's uh, not for followers um, and certainly not for marriage and children. Um, as we cross over the bridge, which I think is really excellent, I love this, uh, into the, the sleeping area, we've just got a single bed, uh, a shrine to Julius, or Julianos, sorry. And if you sleep in the bed, you'd only get the feeling rested bonus which obviously ideally you want the well rested bonus but it is what it is okay and we've got a face sculpture there and you can go through the whole process that's really nice to have actually I do like those in, in homes yeah so this is purely uh, a single player no followers no family If we come down the stairs, the this home has a few surprises. And we can go into gardens. I haven't counted all the uh, plantable spots here, but there's uh, quite a few. And if you've got the green thumb finger, uh, green thumb perk, sorry, there's tons of stuff. We to use an alchemy. Yeah, really impressive rooms. I, I really, I think this this mod really is good. It really works. And you've got somewhere to spit. That's uh, spit. <laughs> Sit <laughs> while you're chilling out in your in your garden with absolutely no sunlight at all. It's remarkable, really, isn't it? 
Okay, now the one thing you'll probably notice is there's no smithing uh, in the house. There's an anvil and a tanning rack outside, and that's it. I think it's a little bit of, um, of an oversight on the mod authors uh, part, to be honest with you. Even though it's a major's home. Uh, most people want smithing. So it brings us out back out to near the entrance and then we go into the trophy room or the room of secrets and we've got a reasonably decent uh, trophy room here again nice size looks great it's impressive building isn't it got uh, shelves of black books and your bugs in the jar and uh, your paragons and if you're playing as a vampire have a bit of a kip in there and you get your rested bones again not well rested but do uh, do vampires need rest? I thought they were undead. Anyway, so yeah, you've got your dragon claws and uh, Elder Scrolls, and you've got places for all the masks. So yeah, it's quite a decent. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not like a, it's not geared up to be a pure uh, display everything a trophy room, but that's no, decent enough. And I haven't got a clue what it does. This thing does, sorry. It makes a noise and goes up and down. That's as much as I can tell you. I guess if you're a vampire, it does something. Leave a comment in the blurb below if you uh, know what it is. And uh, yeah, if you open up the, uh, this little um, storage box, it will give you again a load of stuff the mod authors left for you. None of this stuff can be disenchanted. Well, no, I, I disenchanted it, but I couldn't apply that enchantment onto anything else. So, um, actually, one thing I didn't try and apply it to was clothes, thinking about it, actually. I should try that. Um, yeah, so you've got a lot of stuff here. Uh, the sword's pretty cool. Uh, three enchantments on it. 15 points I should see if I can disenchant that I haven't tried to disenchant that and if you guys want to try it let me know in the comments below there you go so pop up back upstairs so what are my thoughts on this mod um, I genuinely think this is a direct competitor to me and watch though it does fall short uh, it also exceeds in different areas as well. It falls short in the crafting area. Uh, Mirror Watch has a combination of alchemy, enchanting and smithing perfectly done. Um, whereas Scholar's Refuge has no staff enchanter or any smithing at all. Well, he's got an anvil and a, uh, a tanning rack, uh, but essentially no smithing. However, the secret garden is far superior and there's plenty of little planters around. Um, to keep it going as an alchemist. Um, now another thing obviously which is good about this is you don't get attacked every time you go to Scholar's Refuge where it's pretty standard for Mere Watch. But for all the differences these two homes are very similar and normally though this mod wouldn't be included in one of my reviews as it doesn't hit all my requirements for a mod at uh, home. That's because of the lack of the smithing. However, this mod just feels right and I've tested it over several weeks to see if I could uh, use it for day-to-day uh, -day gameplay and I have to say it just does work. The lighting is perfect, the crafting area is well thought out and indeed gen the whole general layout works very well and probably more at home, the home, sorry, probably more importantly the home just feels right. However, you have to decide whether travelling to Smithy Gear is a sacrifice you're willing to make. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and I think we'll call it a day here and I'll catch you later. Love you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, 
leave a comment and hit the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribed obviously and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.